Hello everybody! Now, before we continue, the next episode of Violet's Head has been recorded and is uploading and I think you're going to enjoy this one. Very, very funny. <laughs> Can't wait for you to see it. Um, but I thought while that was uploading, I'd record the next not going out because I can even upload it tomorrow or tonight, depending on what I decide goes on the YouTube channel tonight. Something needs to go on YouTube. I think I'll take something from the Patreon and put it on YouTube. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's just get into it. So, this is called Stress. Fantastic series, this so far. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, look at the car! <laughs> How am I doing? Give me an S. S. Give me an H. Alright, I got it. <laughs> It's not my fault. Your car's got hiccups. You should try giving it a big surprise. Try using your indicators occasionally. That should do it. <laughs> I'm never going to pass my test, am I? Oh, I don't know, Kate. You'll end up walking it. A bit like your examiner if he's got any sense. <laughs> right. See if you can slip her in the... You're losing faith with my parking, aren't you? Why'd you say that? Okay. No rush. How long's left on that tax disc? Get in there. Please. Well, he's not listening, is he? Looks like you're gonna have to resort to using the clutch. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, here goes. Fingers crossed. Should I say that on the test? No. <laughs> Joking. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> okay. How? <laughs> You've got all that space between a Peugeot and a tractor, and you managed to hit the smallest car. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, not going out. Someone's gonna die in this episode. Just hanging around with my head in a spin, but there is no need to scream and shout. We're not going out. We are not going out. You're still angry, aren't you? No. Are you sure? I'm absolutely fine. <laughs> it's either the coat or me. That's not fair, you didn't give me the choice. Man, you need to seriously learn to calm down. Woman, you need to seriously learn not to run over Labradors. I didn't touch him. Anyway, the owner should have seen me coming and pulled it out of the way. He was a guide dog. <laughs> He's not a very good one, is he? Not now, he's not, no. <laughs> it's not just my driving, though, is it? You get stressed about everything. No, I don't. Oh, yes, you do. It's like sharing a flat with Becky Morgan on Boost Juice. It's a caffeine drink from America. Well, who's Becky Morgan? She's a friend from Sacramento. Then why would Did he get it? you see why I didn't get that? <laughs> anyway, I wouldn't mind, but you don't even have a job. <clears throat> I'm the one that's supposed to be stressed. Oh, yeah. Publishing books for hippies called Zen Up Your Vegan Tantric Love Crystals. <laughs> I'm less stressed because of my lifestyle. I mean, what have you eaten today? Uh, chicken and mushrooms. Pot noodle. All right, dried chicken and mushrooms. All right, pot noodle. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. As what have you, you eaten? Said chicken Nettles and mushrooms. Or trill. <laughs> Same thing called fruit. That probably doesn't mean much to you, since you count green Smarties as one of your five daily portions. <laughs> Why don't I teach you some yoga? Oh, yeah. That's gonna help, innit? Touching me toes. Uh, hello, Mr. Optimus. All right, knees. <laughs> you should knock something until you've tried it. Yeah, well, I've never tried strangling a goose with me bare hands, but I know that's not a good idea. Yes, you have. That was a duck. <laughs> Pecking away at me feet, they get on me nerves. <laughs> Try acupuncture. That's supposed to be good for stress. No. Because I'm not stressed. <laughs> Everyone gets tense now and again. Aren't you? Even you, Buddha Baps. Nothing Buddha Baps. stresses me out. Oh, yeah? What about Tim? Tim doesn't stress me. Yes, he had a fling with a girl half his age. 
but I'm totally over him. Mm. I have creative visualization. I just close my eyes, take a deep breath, and imagine he's dead. <laughs> well, next time you're in the car with me, can we creatively visualize the brake pedal and use it when blind people cross the road? <laughs> I mean, next time, give me one good reason why you think you're ever getting back in that car. Because it's my car? I mean, to teach me. It's Fine, his teach car. Teach yourself. And I'll stick with my own ways of relaxing. I find this always does the trick. Crap off, you twat! <laughs> right! Crap off, you twat! Expression is that? <laughs> oh dear. Went to the pub with Tim. Where's my phone? Calm down, man. Where's my phone? I'm not telling you until you calm down. Are you calm? Yes. Are yes. you sure? I'm perfectly fine. Where's my phone? Where's it was my in phone? your coat pocket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> If you're looking for that article on speed reading, you've gone past it. <laughs> Somewhere in this magazine, there is an article, here it is, that accurately ascertains your clinical stress levels with some key medical and psychological questions. What magazine is it? Nuts. <laughs> there you go. Nuts. Timothy, ask the questions. False <laughs> or real? Which would you rather copper field Wrong page. <laughs> Oh, here it is. <laughs> Are you the kind of person who jumps the gun before properly weighing up all the options? No. Hang on, it's multiple choice. Ah, you see what I mean? That was a really clever joke. Sometimes, always, or never? I don't know. Sometimes, always, sometimes, never. That's not one of the multiple evening. choices. Number two. Well, this one's interesting. What's your daily intake of coffee or tea? Between one and three... Eight cups. <laughs> eight eight cups. cups a day? No, eight cups between one and three. <laughs> That's supposed to be one of the options. You know what? That sounds about right to me. Eight cups of tea a day? I mean, I don't have eight cups of tea a day, but I wouldn't be shocked if someone said... If I asked someone that question and they said, yeah, I have about eight cups of tea... Eight cups of tea a day? I wouldn't be shocked by that. You know? I've seen my grandma drink about three cups in the f two, three hours that I've been in her house. So, eight cups in a day? Yeah, that's totally plausible to me. We're British. We drink, how many is it a day? I think we drink 1.4 billion cups of tea a day or something. So it, it, I know that sounds mental, but it's true. It is that many. I know it's definitely over a billion a day we drink. Between one and three, more than three, none. none. Twenty. Twenty? Twenty cups a day. How do you okay, that's a bit there? excessive. Easily, it's fair trade. <laughs> fair trade tea. Okay, question three. Close your eyes. <laughs> what the? Right, open them. Okay, question four. <laughs> The waitress in Pizza Hut forgets to put extra pineapple on your Hawaiian pizza, even though you did specifically ask her. That's not a real question. Do you, A, politely point out her mistake and get her to rectify it like any normal person would? Why'd you keep going on about this? It was over four years ago. <laughs> or B, throw your drink on the floor like a six-year-old girl, shout how hard is it to put a bit of pineapple on a friggin' pizza, you dozy cow, and get you and your friend thrown out. <laughs> That's oddly specific. So why have a sudden interest in your stress levels, anyway? Oh, I've been teaching Kate to learn to drive. What do you mean? Well, Kate's been learning to drive and I've been teaching her. That's not an explanation. That's the same words in a different order. <laughs> yeah! Was that a problem? No. just wonder why she didn't want to go to a professional driving instructor. Because she said she felt she wanted someone she knew and trusted. I know how she feels. Tim, how long have we been best mates? Long enough to know that neither of us would do anything to compromise our friendship. Or B, sorry I've been shagging your mum. <laughs> Why didn't you ask me to teach her to drive? Oh, I don't know. Maybe she thought you were still teaching Emma to drive without stabilisers. She was 23. He's still going on about this. Anyway, I won't worry about it because I'm not doing it anymore. Literally from the, the first episode. My face again. He's been going on about the girl here, the girlfriend he had who was 23.
It's the glass and screaming are over. <laughs> I'm starting to look like Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like she needs a calming influence. Someone like me. I might phone her, offer my services. Do what you like. It's probably a good idea. You want to teach her to drive? She wishes you were dead. Be able to kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Cheers. I spat in that. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Kate! Kate! Where are you? I'm ready, Kate! Kate! Oh, how do I think of the... How or why? Oh, it could have been worse. I could have done the bottle opening gag. <laughs> oh. oh, must be an occasional table. <laughs> an occasional table? Ah, give me, give me, give me! It's an occasional table, OK? Occasionally it's a table and occasionally it's a coffin, okay? <laughs> right, stand like this. Let's start with some breathing. In. Oh, this is a bit good. In. Out. I'm never gonna remember this. Can we write it down? <laughs> I'm teaching you yoga. Writing's tomorrow. <laughs> okay, let's add some noise on the out breath from your center. In. Out. <sighs> In. Out. Uh, <laughs> shake it all about. Uh, do the okey cokey and turn around. Uh, uh. I love coming to Butlins. Uh. <laughs> Has anyone seen my shally key? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, why don't we just forget the breathing thing? Right, which holiday park is it where the entertainers in the nightclub are called blue coats? Is it Butlins or Pontins? Because he was a blue coat, Lee Mack. I remember reading about he was a blue coat in his in his early performing career. Is it Butlins or Pontins? So it's Butlins, and that that's why I was laughing at it because I thought like that's what made that funny for me because it's you know it's a bit of truth to it. Thing. Good idea. I mean, for about three days. <laughs> okay. I love coming to Butlins. Uh, <laughs> has anyone seen my shally key? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, why don't we just forget the breathing thing? Good idea. I mean, for about three days. <laughs> okay, copy me. If you're gonna dive in that glass, you might want to fill it up first. <laughs> Do you want to know the secret to successful yoga? Get yourself filleted. <laughs> Mudras, Udiana, Mulabanda. Don't forget the chapatis. <laughs> oh, yogi. Allow me to explain in simple terms, Boo Boo. You need to be able to activate your perineum. <coughs> That's the bit between your. Yep. Me <laughs> what? I want you to squeeze in your anus. I'm never going to fit in there. <laughs> Contract the muscles of your sphincter very tightly. <laughs> Have you done it? I can't. Imagine Anne Robinson naked. <laughs> yeah, that's the ticket. <laughs> I'm like a camel in a sandstorm. <laughs> OK, sun salutation. Up. And look at your belly button, hands forward. <laughs> look at your belly button. <laughs> and downward dog. Try asking nicely, bitch. <laughs> and upward dog. Okay? And Let's just take downward it. dog. Try asking nicely, bitch. <laughs> there. And don't forget when you lower your head towards the ground, only go as far as your body feels comfortable with. All right, now what? <laughs> okay, ready? Yep, let's do this. Up, and look at your belly button, <laughs> hands forward, downward dog, and upward dog. <laughs> How's that? Yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought, actually. Really? Never is when you cheat. <laughs> You're in a room. A large, empty, white room. Oh, they're meditating There's now. There's nothing in there. 
None of the stresses of everyday life. How are you feeling? Quite relaxed, actually. Good. Let's concentrate on that empty space. In the middle of the room, there's a candle on the floor. Nothing else, just a candle. You better hope you don't have OCD. A saucer. <laughs> just a candle. I want the wax strip all over the floor. <laughs> it's fine. Just picture the candle. It seems so small, so insignificant in this large, empty white room. What about a glass jar? Just something to stop it dripping. All right, a candle and a saucer. <laughs> <laughs> Just humour him. And it's burning brightly. I presume there's a fire extinguisher. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> there's no fire extinguisher. I preferred it when there was no candle. <laughs> It's fine. Relax. Yeah, that's what my nan said just before she burnt our house down. <laughs> you wouldn't be so blase if it had been you living in a caravan for six months. <laughs> Any idea what it's like to live on the outskirts of Accrington in a little caravan for about three months? Even... Kate? Hello. Can I make an acupuncture appointment, please? <laughs> for you or him? Is this oh. Hurt? Depends <laughs> if I like you or not. <laughs> Miranda! No, she was in this. Bloody hell! I absolutely love Miranda Hart. She is hilarious. Oh, I love that girl. She's fucking brilliant. It'll be fine. Just lie back, close your eyes, and pretend you're on a beach. Ow, ow, ow. It's Brighton Beach. Huh? <laughs> Everything will be fine if you just relax. I've had some very famous people in here, you know. Really? Yeah. Years ago, that wrestler Giant Haystacks was here. It was awful, I couldn't find any of the needles afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell that one, it's good, isn't it? Uh, I don't think it was as good as the Brighton one. I did. <laughs> right, before we start, I just need to ask you a few routine questions. After today's sessions of acupuncture, do you intend to operate any heavy machinery? My kettle, does that count? My kettle! <laughs> Do you have a history of heart disease? Uh, yes. Heart disease was discovered in 1784 by a doctor. Oh, <laughs> it's quite good, that one, isn't it? Actually, that was quite good, yeah. Yeah. And finally, are you pregnant at the moment? <laughs> silly question. Uh, are you? Silly question. <laughs> no, I'm not. Of course you're not. That's why it's a silly question. You know, who does? Yep, that first acupuncture needle's going in. I won't, I won't finish that sentence, but. Prepare to scream, Lee. <laughs> uh, well, someone would, but they haven't. Ow! <laughs> what do you do that for? There are three yin and yang lines that run throughout this leg. By stimulating certain points, we can readdress the imbalance of the meridian system. Right, of course you That's can. not why I did it, you were just getting on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. Hey, 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 where are you going with that one, Jockey Wilson? <laughs> That's a darts comment. I don't mean that you're, uh, uh. you know, it's, it's only the, and even then it's only, uh, I like your shoes. Ow! <laughs> 180! <laughs> See? Miranda. She's brilliant. Mirror? Signal? I've missed you, Kate. Manoeuvre. <laughs> Blitz. <laughs> Kate. Tim. You well? Yep, yeah, you? Fine. Been working hard? Yeah, you? Yeah. Pretty hard. Shaved off your designer stubble then, huh? Yeah, you? What? <laughs> I can't believe I agreed to do this. <laughs> it's understandable to want to be taught by someone you know and trust. Well, one out of two ain't bad. Ding, ding, round one. <laughs> OK, let's just put the brakes on the relationship conversation and take the brake off the car. <laughs> OK, good 
have to let the old lady get out of the way and try and keep her under 20. I told you I don't want to talk about the relationship. She was 20. Oh, God, sake! <laughs> Ribena. Just drive. Ribena. How are you feeling? <laughs> like I'm making a porn version of Hellraiser. <laughs> I'm not feeling any less stressed. Everybody's different. Some people don't feel the benefits until the third or fourth week. I can't week. keep moving for that long. <laughs> people will think I've been giving blowjobs to porcupines. <laughs> Though. What is this meant to do? Acu what, is, what does it do? Acupunk I don't get it. They do it for everything in China. I remember watching a documentary. There was a fat kid. You know, he was not overweight, like morbidly obese, and they gave him acupuncture to help him lose weight. What? <clears throat> and this, this, the explanation for it was, oh well, it's gonna release all the toxins and all the bad. It's basically things that don't actually exist from his body. No. Put him on a diet and send him to, I don't know. <laughs> you know, putting these little things in his skin all over the place isn't going to make him lose weight, is it? And then they did something else where they put like a towel over his belly and then set it on fire. I mean, unless they were trying to burn the fat. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Chinese medicine, it's a whole different level of quackery. The third or fourth week. I can't keep him in for that long. <laughs> People will think I've been giving blowjobs to porcupines. <laughs> does this actually work? Of course it works. Acupuncture has been around for thousands of years. Yeah, well, so has Christmas, syphilis and France, and I don't like them either. <laughs> My husband's French. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, well, that's what he gave you at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Be good honest. one. Isn't it all a bit of a con? Yep. I mean, how can sticking needles in you be good for stress? It's like strangling someone with breathing problems. Yeah. You don't have breathing problems as well, do you? No. Shame. <laughs> wow. Acupuncture is a scientifically proven practice of no, course it's it's not. not a con. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Ow! Ooh. Listen. <laughs> can I tell you a story? When I was a kid, I went to see a magician, and everybody thought it was real magic. Do you know the mistake he made? Not telling the clever kids like me that it was all a sham. He should have just come up to us, got us to one side, and said, I know you lot know the budgie hasn't really disappeared. He's under the... hidden behind the, uh... I don't quite know how he did it, but the point is, <laughs> he should have just told us the truth. And that way, I wouldn't have been rooting through his van I'm struggling to tell if those needles are actually in his face. It looks like they are. So Lee Mack actually... had acupuncture on his face for this scene. That's a level of dedication for, you, for your role. Well, it's his show, so he, he wrote this. Jesus Christ, fair play to you, Lee. I wouldn't do that for a show. Fuck that. I don't no. quite know how he did it, but the point is, he should have just told us the truth. They're and actually way, in his I face. Wouldn't... Jesus Christ. Been rooting through his van looking for clues. He wouldn't have accidentally driven off with me in the back, and he wouldn't have done six months in... I can tell there's no prosthetic layer over his actual skin. That's his real skin. Jesus. Parkhurst for abduction. <laughs> tell them the truth, Lee. Oh, tell them the truth. The tables have turned now, haven't they, Ali Kazam? <laughs> right. I think you need to see a doctor. What? You might need medication. I've never met anybody that's uptight and stressed. I'm not stressed, and I don't need tablets. In fact, why don't you get the biggest needle you've got and shove it where the stress don't shine? <laughs> the stress one thing don't that shine. I am not, it's uptight. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. Break over. Let's try some parking. There's a the space. Who's supposed to fit in there? You. <laughs> Me? Oh, thank God. I thought you meant the car, too. I do. Don't you like your car the way it is? Kate, if there's one thing the last few months has taught me, it's loved ones' feelings I need to start worrying about, not cars. Not on the dash. <laughs> OK, madam, if you'd like to crawl back slowly up to the curb. Bollocks. Oh, oh, oh! Yes! Who's the curb crawler? 
<laughs> that sort of thing never really caught on in Henley. <laughs> See, with a calming influence around, I knew you'd be fine. Well, he's not so bad. At least he's making an effort. Oh, my God. A little help, he might turn out to be a laid-back, devil-may-care, laissez-faire, chill-out kind of guy. <laughs> he just dived on Miranda! <laughs> so that was today, Nigel Mansell. <laughs> Come on, my drama's not that good. Just talking about your personality. <laughs> oh. He is boring, though, Nigel Mansell. Going great. All I've got to do is stop saying words like gas, stick shift, and trunk. Uh, all I've got to do is get a drive on the left-hand side of the road, and I've cracked it. <laughs> I'm joking. Kate will pass, no problem. Especially with someone less stressed as a mentor. And it wasn't just you, was it? You might have uh, taken the lid off the pickle jar, but I loosened it. No, you didn't. You were twisting it the wrong way. You were making it tighter. <laughs> I had to wrap a tea towel around her and trap her head in the doorway. All right, that's enough of the metaphors. I'm just keeping the pickle jar analogy going. <laughs> anyway, why does it bother you so much that I'm getting on well with Kate? It doesn't bother me that you get on with Kate. It bothers me that people keep calling me stressed. That's the only thing that's getting me stressed. If someone says something to you enough times, you eventually become the thing you're being accused of. You're quite intelligent sometimes, aren't you? Thank you. You're quite intelligent sometimes, aren't you? No, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky sod. So what are you trying next? You've done yoga and acupuncture? Well, you could say you're bent over backwards, but still haven't nipped the nail on the head. I'll tell you what's next. You're not going to think less of me, are you? Impossible. <laughs> I hope they're not what I think they are. What do you think they are? Prescribed tranquilizers from a general practitioner. Ooh, enough of the street talk, homie. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't look at me like that. Like what? Like I've just said I'm nipping to the box for cocaine. Lend me your credit card. <laughs> sure you'd have to pay cash. You've led a sheltered life, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Give me one good reason why you'd risk being addicted to tranquilizers. Tim, how long have we known each other? Fifteen years. There you go. Do you need another one? <laughs> it's not a joke. Tranquilizers are one of the most harmful and addictive drugs in society. Surely there must be something you haven't tried. Well, there's massage. Kate said she could try that on me. I suppose a couple of pills won't kill you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> good health. Just make sure you don't take too many. Tim, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Jesus! What have they given him? <laughs> what have they given him? Hello. How are you going out? Um, just come in. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I've just had a cup. <laughs> you look... haunted. Yeah? Thanks. It's not a compliment. So I guess that acupuncture's a little stronger than you anticipated, huh? Yeah. Knock me out. <laughs> Did I knock her out? <laughs> I remember now. Yeah, well, you certainly look calmer. Maybe I should pay them a visit. I'm getting a little edgy about my theory test. Will you quiz me? Okay. Which of these signs means restricted access? <laughs> I need to see them. Come on, Kate. Go with the flow. Have a guess. <laughs> the first one? Yes. Yes. Ace. There's a tractor ahead of you. You wish to overtake, but I'm not sure if it is safe to do so. You should... Yes. What? <laughs> That's what it says. There's a tractor ahead of you. You wish to overtake, but I'm not sure if it is safe to do so. You should. <laughs> you should? <laughs> you should? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What have they given him? Straight on Valium or something. <laughs> Jesus. He's just like this. <laughs> Isn't there a question mark followed by four options? Probably. But hey, Lee's in a different world to you at the moment, love. <laughs> Kate, I was wondering uh, if you fancied going to 
Tai Chi lessons with me on Friday. Wow, tai Chi. step back, repulse monkey. Is that a no? That's a yes. It's a date. Well, not a date, just thought it might be nice for you to see me trying to enter the dragon. That's worse. <laughs> tai Chi it is. Cool. <laughs> so, I was wondering, can I get back in the car with you? Only if you behave yourself. Wow. Come on, Kate. I'm not a kid. Are we nearly there yet? <laughs> Watch your speed. Wait. He's thirsty. And he's hungry. Have they given him THC? <laughs> Wait, what? this is 2006. I don't think they were available on prescription, was it? No. I... Yeah. <laughs> don't listen to him, Kate. I think you're doing great. Just remember, location, location, location. What? I'm sure this was a good idea. It's fine. Anyway, Lee's right. I'm not going that fast. It's nowhere near the F. That's the petrol gauge. For Christ's sake! <laughs> Just slow down a bit. You don't want to be pulled over by the police. That's true. I've seen cell block H. I know what happens to the pretty girls. Hey, Kate, relax. No one's forcing anyone to have lesbian sex. <laughs> I need to lie down. Yeah! I don't think we need to put the central locking on, do we? Why? You always do. Well, that's only when we're in rough areas. This is the countryside. I don't think we're going to be carjacked by the Badger Massive. <laughs> I hope he's all right back there. It's not like Lee to stay quiet when he's heard the words Badger and Massive in the same sentence. <laughs> well, this driving reminds me of that wonderful trip to Florence. Badger and Massive. Our first massive. romantic holiday. Puff. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's all right. Lee's still in there somewhere. <laughs> it's nice, wasn't it? Yeah, just me and you. And your mum. Oh my god. Well, those packed lunches don't make themselves. <laughs> Do you remember those <laughs> lovely walks in the beautiful Tuscan hills, hand in hand? The smell of lavender. Yeah, but she was only with us for a week. <laughs> Listen, Kate. I was oh wondering. god. Have you got any plans for next Friday? Actually, we're doing Tai Chi. We? Me and Lee. Oh, I see. Me and Lee. Me and Lee are going driving. Me and Lee are doing yoga. Wouldn't surprise me very soon. Me and Lee are rolling around in bed together. <laughs> Can I go on top? He pops a couple of pills and suddenly everything's all right. You're going to use Rahitnol on me. What do you mean, pills? Oh, just little ones. <laughs> I say little. The are harder to swallow than O.J. Simpson's version of events. <laughs> Slow down. Slow down? Do you know about this? Oh, here we go. Lee takes drugs, it's Tim's fault. Kate drives too fast, it's Tim's fault. Tim has an affair. Kate drives too fast. Yeah, retracts, retracts. <laughs> oh, so the affair was my fault. Maybe you should slow down a little bit. Shut up, you. Don't you think if I could go back in time and change things, I would? Speed she's going. If we're in a DeLorean, we could. <laughs> Look, I am not the one who went out with a girl so young she had to lie about her age to see Finding Nemo. She was 23. Excuse me. What? what? Can I just say, in a calm, relaxed sort of way, tractor. <laughs> And handbrake on. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Hello. That explains the thumbnail. Oh. Well? Come on. Did you pass or not? Not. The examiner took ages to give me the result, started analyzing the whole test. Go on. Said it was great the way I'd slowed down through both sets of red lights. <laughs> and? And he said a three point turn referred to the amount of maneuvers, not the number of points I'd get on my license. <laughs> Just tell me. Go, Kate. Go, Kate. It's your birthday. <laughs> Come on, did you pass or not? Have you been taking those pills again? No. I took them back to the doctors, like you said. And I went to the acupuncturist and apologised. In fact, she gave me a free session. How'd that go?
trouble there. Well, you could have laughed. It took me eight hours to make this costume. <laughs> we are not going out. <laughs> that was brilliant. That's the best one so far. I don't even care. By far the funniest. Oh my god, that was. <laughs> Do you know, once, when he, you know, after he'd taken the pills, it was calmer, but it was like serial killer vibes, like, the calm before the psychotic, schizophrenic, homicidal attack, <laughs> you know? <laughs> this was the best one so far. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> Um, I love this. Oh my god, it was brilliant. I can't wait to get this up on... Uh, yeah, screw it. I'm going to put this up tonight on the Patreon. No point in depriving you of it, because... Oh, well. Yeah. So, I'm going to cut the video off so it isn't too long. We're on 36 minutes. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> that was the best. I, definitely the best. Um... We'll be starting the three new series soon. Maybe this week. But might, you know, get to the end of this week with what we've already got. Because one way or another we're going to be ending at least one series this week. Whether it's Bottom or Scotch and Rye, whatever. But the good thing with those two is we've still got something to go after them. You know, related to them. So with Scotch and Rye there's Reverend I Am Jolly, spin-off show. And then there's... We bought them, there's the live shows and the movie, which I can't wait. I'm so excited for the live shows and the movie. The way you lot have described it, the movie alone, can't wait for that. It's going to be brilliant. Um, but yeah, we're going to end at least one show this week. Maybe both. It depends what I get done during the week. Um, but we'll see what happens, won't we? So, thanks for everybody for watching. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, then like the video, subscribe, and... Uh, Come over to the Patreon and get a free trial. Seven day free trial in uh, any tier apart from the one dollar above tier. You don't have to pay, you don't have to join permanently. Just take the free trial. Seven days free exclusive content. Or early access to the shows that we've got running. You know, you get them earlier than you get on YouTube for a week. So, what have you got to lose? If you don't join, you don't join. Well, I'm not going to hold it against you. Don't worry about that. Just come and take seven days free content. Why not? I would. Some... You know, my favourite reaction channel was saying, come take the seven days free. I'd be doing it. So go ahead and do it. Anyway, yep, thanks everybody for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.